Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm gonna be going through and letting you guys know what products I absolutely loved in the month of July. Things that I reached for pretty frequently. There are a few products in here I think that I have definitely mentioned before, but that's just the way it is. You start using new products and then you go back to something that you've used before and you absolutely fall in love. Just because I know I'm gonna get questions about it, my shirt does say, I'm sorry for what I said when I was hungry. Anybody that knows me knows that that's basically my life mantra and I have to apologize every single time I get hungry because I get mean, downright mean. So I'm going to start with a hair elastic and that sounds a little bit ridiculous but the reason that I wanted to mention this is because uh, recently a friend of mine gave me one of the elastics that looks like a phone cord. So they look like this. They look literally like one of those things that you put around your arm to hold your keys. And I've never really seen them before, but apparently now they're everywhere. And they're meant to not leave any creases in your hair if you want to put your ponytail up and then take it down after. They're meant to give you less breakage. And my favorite, to be honest, is when I wear them in a high ponytail. It gives my ponytail a lot more volume. So I was using one from her and I absolutely loved it. Of course I lost it because it's a hair elastic and that's just what happens to hair elastics. And then my roommate actually brought me back um, one of them from Ireland, I believe. Ireland, yeah. She travels a lot. She's one of my best friends. She's all over the place all the time. So she brought me back a package of them from Ireland. And they look like this, like always. And I noticed that this one, when I put it in, I do get a bump in my hair and it does pull my hair out quite a bit when I remove it. So I just thought maybe, I don't know what I thought. But then a company reached out to me uh, called Hair Slinky by Vita Glam and they wanted to send me their version of it. So I'll show you guys the difference. This one is the one that my roommate gave me and this is the one from Vita Glam. So they sent me a few of them. I guess they wanted to give me some hair color options here. And then they have their kind of luxury line, which look like these. Now this one I've had on my wrist for probably about at least three weeks now, because I really do honestly like the way it looks when I'm wearing it on my wrist, but I also like, again, that it is quite large and it gives me quite a bit of volume on the top of my hair. So if you guys are interested in these kind of elastics and you've seen them, uh, check out this company, they're hairslinky.com. Who knew there could be such a difference between this and this? You think they would work exactly the same, but they don't, so that's why I thought that that was worth a mention. What happens is when you use them and they do stretch out over time, if you put them in a cup of boiling hot water, it'll kind of shrink the elastic back up and then you have one that's just brand new. This is something that I actually get at Sephora with the 100 point bonus perks that they have. It is the Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging Miracle Multiplying Volume Mist. And you can see I've used a fair bit of it and I do quite like it. Every time I use it, my hair doesn't feel hard, it doesn't feel brittle, but it does seem to have a little bit more volume and a little bit more movement in it. Anything that will give my hair more volume, I'll take 17 bottles of it because like I said, it's so fine. I have a lot of hair, but it is very fine. And then this one, you guys are gonna think I'm completely cheating. So a friend of mine actually gave me this product because she didn't like it. I used it once and said I hated it. Pantene Air Spray alcohol-free hairspray. There we go, that's the name. So the bottle of it looks like this. And I do like the fact that instead of using alcohol in this product, they use water. So it is meant to be a lot less drying on your hair in the long run. And I'll be completely honest, I was at a uh, spa appointment the other day. I went in to see my esthetician and I was in the waiting room and I picked up one of the fashion magazines there and Beyonce's hairstylist was actually raving about this in a magazine. Obviously, if I have it at home and Beyonce, well, who knows if she actually used it, but her stylist mentioned it. I gave it a second try. Turns out I do quite like it. It leaves my hair a little bit harder than the Elnet does, but it goes away. Like halfway through the day, if I was to put my fingers through my hair, it doesn't feel crunchy. It doesn't feel like I have a ton of product in there. But when you initially put it on, it does feel a little bit more sticky than the Elnet. The other thing I love about it is the scent doesn't bother me because that was one of the biggest things why I was married to my Elnet hairspray for years and years. I just could not stand the smell of any other hairspray and this one doesn't bother me. So to be honest, it's about half the price of the L'Oreal. I'm probably going to gravitate more towards this one next time I have to repurchase. I have like seven cans of Elnet just as backups because 
that's what you do when you find a product that you love so much but that one is a really nice one if you're looking for something more on a budget this is something that I've already talked about on my channel or my blog one or the other this is the Vichy Ideal Soleil SPF 30 invisible mist dry touch this is my absolute favorite sunscreen and I've really been playing around with sunscreens this year and trying different formulas. I made the mistake of going out and buying something super inexpensive. This is the Banana Boat Baby. I just had one of those moments, I know better. I'm like, if it's safe enough for a baby, it's safe enough for me, it's a 60, great. You literally are spraying cooking oil on your body. If I took a bottle of Pam out of the cupboard and sprayed myself down with it, I would look the exact same as when I use this. It is oily, it is greasy, it stains your clothes. It's horrible, horrible. So when I went back to this one finally, I really understood why I love this so much and why it's completely worth the price. You can spray this directly on your face. It doesn't say to do that on the packaging, but I do it. You guys know I have crazy sensitive skin. I do wear contact lenses. I just close my eyes, give myself a good spray, and I'm ready to go. I also really like the spray formula because I'm by myself pretty frequently, so I can reach behind and do my own back without having to get somebody else to put it on me, which I don't think we'd do that. No. I think I'd rather get a sunburn than get someone. Maybe not a spray, but like, have you ever been at the beach and somebody asks you to put sunscreen on their back and you don't know them? Like, no. No. One last repeat product that I have, and this is something that you guys are going to roll your eyes at, I know, but I just recently opened this and I started using it again and everybody around me noticed something was different about my eyelashes and of course it was my Lancome Hypnose. This is my ride or die. Sometimes I think, oh I found something better and I go away from it for a while but every single time I come back I realize why this mascara is such a big deal to me. So I can get a very natural look if I want it, which I normally never do, or I can get a very dramatic look and I can really layer it on top of itself, which I really like. So it's very customizable to how much drama you want in your lash. It does not flake, it does not smudge. I've went in the ocean with that, like under the water, ocean swimming, and it has not moved. They do make it in a waterproof version, but to be honest, I really don't think it's necessary unless you have a severely oily eyelid and products really do tend to break down on you in that area but for the most part that is absolutely fantastic. So this one here is a new product also from Lancome. This is the new Grandiose Eyeliner. You guys might have seen this, it's been around on social media for quite some time and I loved the Grandiose Mascara when I was using it. When it first came out I thought oh the bent neck swan neck is a little bit gimmicky but when I used it I found that it actually did make a really big difference in being able to get in those really small corner lashes in here. So when I saw the Grandiose liner obviously I was really intrigued by it. It looks pretty standard like a basic liner. Just like this. But what makes this product unique is, of course, they had to do something different, and the top of it actually clicks. So you look at that and you think, what is that going to be beneficial for me? But what happens is, is when you're applying it, when you have that bent wand, you're really able to get in, same as the mascara, to those very, very inner corners, and you're not getting in your own way with the actual wand of the product. So it's very effective. The color itself is extremely black. I actually swatched this next to, I wish I had one on me, but I don't, the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Liner, which has been one of my favorites for a long time. I did an entire day where I swatched the Lancome and then I swatched the Stila. I wore them beside each other all day long. You can imagine how many times I wash my hands in a day, probably 15 to 20 times, just because I do work in the beauty industry and I wash my hands quite frequently. And by the end of the day, the Lancome one did not move and the Stila one was quite blurred and it was also quite gray. So even when you apply them directly right beside each other, you can see that the Lancome is a lot more matte and it does have a lot more pigment in it. They do not put waterproof on the packaging for this. They do say it's a high precision, long wear, intense matte finish. I don't know why they didn't put waterproof on it because I'm telling you, this stuff will hold up if you have oily eyelids, if you are going out somewhere hot, you're going to be fine with this. This is seriously long lasting. Okay, so I have a couple of products for you guys. One high-end, one drugstore. I'll start with the high-end one. This was something that I've actually been using for about two months, but I forgot to include it in last month's favorites. This is the, oh, this might be why I forgot to 
Oh, there it is. The Chanel Ultra Wear Lip Color. I had a really hard time figuring out what this product was called. And I have mine in the shade Light Rose. So this is one of those products that you apply first on the mouth. You leave it on for about one to two minutes and then you top it with a gloss. And the color of this is absolutely beautiful. I love it. So you get the doe foot applicator to apply the color. That's the shade there. And then once that's dry in your mouth, you go back in with the gloss, which just comes with a brush tip like this. And these are very long wearing. They do not flake off. Bridal season is really how I test these products. So when I'm doing brides and I'm doing dry up bridal parties, I start anywhere from seven to eight in the morning and I do not stop until 3 p.m. Usually, sometimes two, but usually it's around three o'clock. And I'm talking like, no drinking water, no bathroom breaks, there's no time for anything, no eating, you literally just stand there and you're doing makeup for hours and hours and hours. And I love it, but it's really hard to find a lip product that can outlast that. So days that I've done weddings, I have noticed a little bit of fading in the middle of the lip and I'll tend to get that ring around my mouth that I'm not really big on. But since this is such a soft color, it's not very noticeable with it. And I mean, if we're talking like six, eight hours, that's a really long time to expect anything from a, a lip product. So I'm super happy with that. I'll definitely be getting more colors. If you guys live in Halifax, Spring Garden Road, Shoppers Drug Mart now carry Chanel products, which is huge. You used to be able to get them at Mills. Now you can get them at Shoppers, which is amazing. You can get your optimum points. You can redeem for them, which is what I did since I'm not allowed to buy anything. It's a really good way to get something back for buying such a luxurious brand. So keep that in mind if you live in Halifax, Spring Garden Road now has Chanel. You heard it here first. Now the second product is a kind of different end of the spectrum. It's not necessarily a super long wearing product, but it's very, very intense in pigment. This is the Maybelline Color Jolt Intense Lip Paint in Stripped Down. I'll swatch that right on the other side. And I almost don't even want to waste the product with the swatch. So this is the shade here right on the bottom. It's a very, very nice nude. It is what I have on today. It is what I've, I've had on for ever since I bought it, which I don't even know how long I've had this. Maybe two, three weeks? Something like that. But I've literally been wearing it daily. Every time I put it on, somebody compliments on it. It's like... It's sold out already at my local drugstore. Nobody can find it anywhere. So if you guys see this, pick it up. Okay guys, so camera died. I just gave it a, a little bit to charge and I wanted to show you guys because I went away, I did some dishes, literally hand washed dishes in the sink and the Maybelline, which I'm not surprised because it's not meant to be a super long lasting product, completely got off of my hand. But the Grandiose Eyeliner and the Chanel Longwear Lip Product are still holding super strong. So that's just a testament to how much these products actually last on the skin. Like I said, that grandiose liner is not going anywhere once you put it on. So like I said, I don't know why they didn't put the waterproof claim on it, but they really should have. And I don't know how much footage I actually have of me talking about my last product. So I'm just going to give a little bit more information on that one. I just realized as well that I didn't even shut my door. This is my day today. Hold on. I usually like to have my door closed just so you guys can see the lipstick picture that I hung myself. My last product was the Travalo Atomizer and like I said this one is the Milano style. So it's really nice. I even have the packaging here that it comes in. Let me kind of put it back together the way it came. So you get it in this really really beautiful box. It is the Travalo Milano. They do come in an assortment of different colors. This one is honestly, this is just my favorite color. Between gray and this color here, it's it's just the best. So it matches my KitchenAid mixer too because everyone needs a atomizer that matches their KitchenAid mixer. So it does look like this. It is a little bit heavier than your standard Travalo that you may see in stores. I've never actually seen these ones in stores before, but um, this one was sent to me by the company and I'm absolutely loving it. So um, the way that it works is you just take the top off and you can actually pull this entire part out and then that's the actual atomizer. So you just put it on the top of any fragrance that you have. Say that's a fragrance bottle, it's not. 
and you just pump the product into this and then you don't have to travel with your massive bottles. So you can fill them up with your fragrance of your choice, whatever you like, and it's a really great thing to have to be able to throw in your bag if you're traveling or if you're going out at night, obviously you're not gonna go with your giant massive perfume bottles. Something like this is really great for people that wanna travel. Or if you have a girlfriend that has a fragrance that you like, you can maybe just take a little bit of hers because I'm also guilty of that. So those were all my favorites for this month. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry about the little mid-time uh, switch because of my battery. But, um, oh, and also I have my hair up. I didn't even realize. So I have one of the hair slinkies in by La Vida Glam. And as you guys can see, it just gives you a ton of volume in your ponytail. I have a real soft spot for things that make my hair look a little bit wild and out of control. I love big hair and I love super high ponytails, obviously. Those were all of my products for this month, so hopefully I will be able to get a video up before next month's favorites for you guys. I'm really trying my best to put more time into the blog and filming. Summertime is just such a busy time for me because I have so many weddings going on. I still work a full-time job on the side. I'm not one of the YouTubers that's lucky enough to be able to stay home and do this full-time. I really appreciate you guys watching this video and I just want to let you guys know for anyone that follows me on Instagram or comments on any of my videos or even watches them or shares them, I really appreciate it. I've really seen my channel grow in the last couple of, um, probably like six months I'd say. And I'm also hoping to do some collaborations in the future that will really help push me along. So again, thank you guys for everything. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Get out if it's nice and sunny and have a drink for me. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.